Welcome back to another video, everyone. Uh, it's a nice ass day outside. Gonna get some progress done. Uh, me and Charles just bled my clutch line that you guys were supposed to see last video, but I ordered the wrong fitting two times in a row. So yeah, that's done. I have a clutch now, feels good. Um, right now, I have nothing else to do because I'm waiting for my RBC and downpipe to come in. So I'm gonna do the catch can right now. Got the bungs welded on, courtesy of Jason. Got the catch can. Got my lines over there, right there. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, best friend, get it, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to be in the video. <laughs> so, cash can. Um, I'm putting it right there. Hold on, let me. Coach Charles, heal the phone, please. Thank you, sir. You know, just point right there. So pretty much, it's gonna go right there. Plain and simple. Um. Those I have nine degree fittings. They're about to swoop around. It's gonna come through here and bang to the catch can. So I'm gonna get started on that now. So first thing I'm gonna do, I have these two straights. Um, these are just gonna come off the catch can normally. Nothing special. Came in the kit. Um, oh, by the way, this whole kit is from Evil Energy on Amazon. I'll drop the link for you guys. Um, I got their line kit with the fittings. I was like sixty bucks. And then the actual cash can was like 40 bucks. So it was hundred bucks in total. Very good price. Um, you can see their work is pretty damn good. I like it. And you know, we'll see how long it lasts for. But anyways, the two straight fittings are going on the cash can. And I have two 90 degree fittings, which are gonna go onto the bungs itself over there. Okay, so that's a rough place of where the catch can is gonna be. You can see the way it aims kind of funny and it's crooked. That's okay, cause right now I'm just gonna measure out the lines I need. So I have everything placed down. So I'm gonna do that now. So I have this measured out. Um, this is the short side right here from there to there, and then long side from that electrical tape to the white tape. So I'm gonna cut this now and get the A and line fittings on there. Actually, no, I'm gonna test fit one more time. And then, yeah, you gotta get the point. Okay, so basically finish the first line. Um, this is what it looks like. And it's gonna mount up like right there. However, I decide to make it sit. Yeah, it's probably just gonna sit just like that. So now it's time to route that one right underneath to that focus. Yeah, to that boy right there. All right, I'm gonna do that one now. Yo, what's good, everyone? New night. Look what you did, bozo. I'm trying to not do it. it didn't work. See, that was my problem. It just kept on doing that. Can you leave the tape on it? Yeah. You can? Oh, you're that. a bozo. No, you're supposed it. to leave the tape on it. Okay. Well, it was I didn't leave the tape on mine. Yeah, because you're weird. Okay, but mine looked better than yours fucking came out. Oh! Yeah, see, that's why I wasn't fucking with the stainless Ow! one. I pricked myself like crazy. Um, yeah, who's doing... a little bit more off? Uh, if you want. Just a little bit. If it doesn't work, then I guess we're going to have to make a new line. 
Hopefully we'll do an and line right now, because I hate and lines. I mean, I guess, as you guys saw before, I did the first one, but then the second one, I kind of, uh, it. So he's he's helping me. I'm redoing the oil drain line, because y'all saw in the turbo drain line video, I kind of gled that too. So yeah, it's just an and line day. Hopefully we can get the cash can done. Day? It's nighttime. Oh, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait, the camera's kind of big. All right, update. Julio's finishing up the line, the last line. Um, we redid my oil line, the drain. It's back in right there, ugly. Uh, another thing we did, we tapped the firewall and got one bolt on there to melt this at a wall. We didn't do that side yet because there is a gap right there. So I'm gonna, I need to figure out how I'm gonna get a nut and bolt through there. Um, yeah, so he's finishing line up like i said over there and then we can hook that up and that's pretty much the catch can done so yeah update you guys when we finish up okay so pretty much this is the finished product we have this bitch mounted on there we got these i'm gonna cut this one shorter because i don't like how far it extends out yo we're gonna give viewers epilepsy <laughs> <laughs> Oops, but yeah, I'm probably gonna cut this one shorter off camera. That way, it, it uh stays in closer. Kind of had to use a 45 right here instead of the straight because it got stripped out. Um, we won't worry about that though. But yeah, this is finished product basically. I need to paint the valve cover still. I don't know if I'm gonna do it red or black. Probably black because red is like fake type R, and we don't rock with that. So yeah, another look. All done. Yes, sir. All right. So that's basically going to do it for this video. I don't think the video is too long. Probably like six, seven minutes. I don't know. It might be more than that. I don't remember because this pretty sure I recorded this over the span of like three days because I hate AI lines so much. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment, and that's it. See you guys in the next video. Actually, before I really end the video, I'm dropping two H Day vlogs. Because me, Julio, Oliver, and Ant, we're going to H Day in Maryland. We're leaving tomorrow. So I'll probably drop a vlog on Saturday and drop a vlog on Sunday. See how that goes. It's all our first times. We virgins. We? I've been to H-Day before when, when it was in Jersey. We Maryland H-Day virgins. So, yeah. Anyway, see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.